You heard me say fake, didn't you? You like fake? You like fake? I know. Watch that poker thing. Hold on. Today we're out in the dome enjoying the last of our Chicago hardy figs. This tree is hardy in zone 5 through 10, but we enjoy it inside the dome. So one of our last really good ripe ones, Ollie. This one's going to taste good. I know it. Lost quite a few. I actually started pruning it back to get ready for the winter. There's a few more green ones on here. I'm not quite sure if they're going to they're going to make it. But in the meantime, we can enjoy this one. Why don't you get up there on your bench? Can you get up? Up. Good boy. Okay, sit there. Let's see. All right, we're going to bite into this, show you what it looks like. Hold on. It looks pretty good. Looks really good. Well, I know. Hold on. Oh, wow. You saw me bite that, didn't you? <laughs> Look. Let me get one more bite because this is really good. <laughs> see inside of that. It's really sweet. The taste is like honey, like sweetness with a subtle hint of berry. Well, it's a unique flavor. Hold on. I know. All I get to that. <laughs> he loves figs. Oddly enough, they don't give him poopy problems or anything. But I only give him that little bit. He's on somewhat of a strict diet, huh? All right, was that good? Was that good? High five. Give me a high five. Give me a high five. Give me a high five. Oh, you just want to lick my fingers. Give me a high five. High five. Yeah, good boy. Down. Down. Once more. <laughs> There's no more figs ripe. They're getting down to the pickings here. Throughout most of the summer, we were harvesting two to three ripe figs a day. What a treat. And now it is slowing down as late autumn approaches here in our dome. Now that autumn's here, the fig leaves have been falling down into the new growth in various containers in the garden and in my pond. I have a big net I could put down, but I forgot to do that. So I basically decided to prune some of the fig back, at least over the pond. So it's less of a cleanup for me. It's getting pretty exciting in here in the dome. As you can tell, I've got plenty of flowers blooming and lots of containers. I actually need to get planted into the ground in here and into my vertical growing system. So this is going to be a fun winter in the dome. <laughs> what are you doing? Smell something? There's a toad and a frog and a salamander and a snake somewhere in here. I haven't seen the snake in a year, but I'm sure he's hiding. To go get some plants from outside, don't we? Ready? Hey, partner, you ready? You ready? Let's do this. Come on. Oh, Kink's waiting for us. Hi, Kink. Kink's gonna help us, huh? Hi, Kink. Oh, you love kissing Kink, huh? All right, no, no, let's go. There's let's plenty go. more to do and plenty more to share. So thank you again for checking out my video today. You can find more about the dome and what creative living we're up to at brenhaas.com. See you next time.